Okay, so here we are. My final evening in New York. My final night in this apartment. Seven days before my last day in New York City. I'm leaving in about a week. And I just want to document it and get some of these feelings down. You know, because it's been 10 years and I've been happy with how things have gone, but um, it's just time for a little transition, a little time away. And at the moment, I'm here in Washington Square Park waiting for a friend. We're going to have a little get together. And you know, I'm kind of doing this a few times this week, seeing people, not for the last time, but for the last time in this iteration of my life in New York City. So here we go. I'm at <laughs> Hudson River Park. My friend Michael has already gone back uptown for dinner and things, but since this is probably maybe the last time I'll be in the West Village for a minute, I thought I'd go back to kind of my old stomping ground spot, Hudson River Park. I was always here. I think I've kind of always come back here. It's probably one of my favorite places in the city. I remember when I first moved here all those years ago. On Fridays, I would work eight to four in Jersey, right? Over there, more like up here. Up there, that blue building. That's where I used to work, me zoom in. Hopefully you can see that blue building. With yeah, I would get off at four. I would take the path train to Christopher Street. To come here, hang out for like 30 minutes, an hour or so until happy hours started in the West Village. And then I would, you know, go to my two, three favorite bars and be out till like four in the morning. <laughs> but that was my life when I first got here. It was fun. It was fun. And so I just thought I'd come back here one last time. We have a very dark and stormy sort of rainy evening, which in certain ways feels appropriate. Kind of washing things clean for this new start, this new slate. And I was thinking about it earlier today, how it's just time for new dreams. And I get to live new dreams. I get to make that choice. New York became the dream, but it wasn't the dream at the beginning. And I think now it's time to get back to the dream that I had at the beginning. I'm gonna video for like literally 30 seconds. Absolutely. <laughs> Marcus over here. Being extra. Juicy. Being extra, giving us a full rose moment here al fresco in Hell's Kitchen. Enjoying it. Yes, get into it. We are the center of the universe. Yes. We do that step. A little zoom action. Mm hmm. Cut to the glass, Talk zoom. The glass, shake a little ass. <laughs> and cut. From the time I was very young, I always wanted to live in LA and have an LA moment. And I would really like to do it while I'm still young and beautiful. So, we're running out of time for that. Forgive my lighting. All of my additional fixtures are packed. 
in my Dodge Grand Caravan. So we're getting that good overhead light. It was so funny. Every time I would tell someone that, you know, I'm just renting a minivan to pack everything in and leave, they were like, are you sure you're gonna be able to fit everything in a minivan? I'm like, I think I got it. Like, you're sure? I'm like, yeah. But like everyone, everywhere I would talk to them, they were always like, oh, are you sure you just need a minivan? I'm like, guys, I got this. But for a second, they did have me shook a little bit. They had me a little bit shook. On today's adventure, we've made our way to Fort Greene Park. Actually, my first time here. I, was, I used to pass here a lot when I was um, working and doing some deliveries for people as a side gig. So I would pass here a lot. Never quite made my way through, but I was like, mm, last week here, why not show up today and begin my friend Becca. She will be here soon. We'll have a moment. And yeah, it's been good to do this this week. And I had a good time with Marcus yesterday at Yum Yum. One last little Thai food stop in Hill's Kitchen. I'm feeling good about things. It's feeling a little surreal that it's actually happening and actually ending. But it's time. It's time for a break. We don't know how long it's gonna be. So that's where I am right now. All right. Okay, y'all, so Becca is here now. She's over here. We have, we have our social distance going on. Say hello, Becca. Hello, James. <laughs> hello, everyone. Everyone. I don't everyone. Know who, who's there, but hello. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah, we're just catching up one last time before <laughs> this chapter of my New York life ends. But, yeah. Cheers. I know, Cheers. I know. I know. <laughs> Transferable. Hi. <laughs> come on, fanny pack. Yes, come on, fanny pack. Huh. Yes. <laughs> About um, four years ago, around the time when I got my yoga certification, I started lighting Palo Santo in this place on a fairly regular basis. And I would always ask that this space around me, that it would be a transformational space, basically let this be a transformational space for me. Because it's definitely not a comfortable space. And if it can't be comfortable, let it be transformational. And, and I think for better or for worse it was. I say for better or for worse, it's only for worse in the moment. I think in the long term it was definitely for the better.
I'm ready. That's all there is to it, is that I'm ready. Ready to dive back into the music and get this next track out. And I'm ready to push my yoga business forward. But cheers to 10 years in New York. Cheers to six years in this shithole of an apartment. Cheers to dreams that I set out to accomplish. And damn near did everything I came here to do. And everything doesn't get that, you know, happy ending, that perfect bow tied on top. And I wanted that. I really, really did want that for my time in New York. I'm sure I'm not alone there. Sometimes you don't get everything you want. You get most of it. And with that, I am off.